Fallout New Vegas is considered a seminal masterpiece by many gamers. But as with many Bethesda games, the game's just not that fun without mods. So yes, modding Steam games is possible on the Steam Deck. But what about mod loaders? What about script extenders? Can those things run on the Steam Deck? Well, I wouldn't be making this video if it didn't. According to YouTube analytics, only about 12% of you guys subscribe to my channel. And here's to hoping this percentage number goes up. So if you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, join my Discord server, and also enable notifications. Installing this is as easy as it gets. The mod letter we're going to be using today is Mod Organizer 2. It's definitely the easiest mod organizer to install. So if you were expecting to use Vortex or whatever, then sorry to disappoint. First, you'll want to go to the GitHub page, which I have linked in the description below. And you'll want to read up on these instructions. So all of these dependencies are installed except for Proton Tricks. 7z is installed on beta versions of SteamOS. In this case, we're doing Fallout New Vegas. Disclaimer. Mod Organizer 2's installer assumes your new Vegas install is on your SSD. Save yourself the headache. This also goes for any other game that Mod Organizer supports as well. Run the script as shown here. Select the game that you want to install it for. In this case, we're going to pick Fallout New Vegas. And here you'll want to do the following. You'll want to make sure your Fallout New Vegas install has no launch options. Secondly, you'll want Fallout New Vegas to be running Proton 6.3. And third, you'll want to run the game after selecting Proton 6.3. And you know, make sure the game's not running. This is the part that takes a while. It's going to take a bit to install. So I'm just going to skip this part. The next step, obviously, is to get yourself some god dang mods. Also download New Vegas Script Extender. Now how do you install New Vegas Script Extender? You would install New Vegas Script Extender as you would on Windows. You just download the Script Extender and you copy the files directly into the game's directory as you would on Windows. For reference, this is the default install location for the SSD. The version of the Script Extender that comes with Mod Organizer 2 is kind of outdated, so you'll want to install a new version ASAP. So one of the coolest features about this installation method is that instead of launching the typical Fallout New Vegas launcher, it instead launches the mod organizer first. This also persists in game mode as you can see here. You have the ability to directly control what mods load up right before launching the game itself. And as you can see there, we're actually running New Vegas Script Extender. Oh yes, this is an issue with my configuration. I'll have to fix that on my own time. But this greatly depends on what mods you use. I'm not going to recommend mods here because there's plenty of YouTube channels that do that already, so watch them instead. The game may not look all that modded, and that's because it really isn't all that modded. I only added like 20 mods. But yes, this is in fact modded, otherwise you wouldn't get that nifty mod configuration menu right there. I tried out Fallout New Vegas like a really long time ago, and I didn't like it because the gameplay didn't feel so great. But with mods... I can make the game whatever I want it to be. The mods I installed make gunplay a lot better. It makes it feel more like a modern first person shooter rather than, you know, an RPG with an affixed first person perspective because let's be honest, the gunplay in the Fallout games aren't that great. There is no true limit as to what mods you can install because after all, this is just a PC. Install whatever you want. I definitely plan on playing this game more with even more mods in the future. Who knows, maybe I'll make a video when I have like some 100 plus mods installed. Though I'm definitely more into gameplay enhancing mods. 